Welcome to the World Drone Market Channel. Today we present a tutorial video on connecting the CUAV Nora Plus flight controller with the CRC7 remote controller ground station. Nora Plus is an advanced autopilot independently designed by CUAV, utilizing the STM32H7 series processor, which outperforms the previous generation FMUV 5PX4 flight controllers. It integrates high-precision industrial-grade sensors and ultra-low temperature drift sensors. Compared to the previous generation, it offers stronger performance and higher reliability. It runs ArduPilot firmware perfectly, making it an ideal choice for academic research and commercial system integration. CRC7 is a new generation handheld ground station launched by C, specially designed for drones, ground vehicles, boats, and intelligent robots. The video is mainly divided into three parts. What products will be used in this test? How to wire? How to display? What products will be used in this test? The products used in this test are CUAV Nora, CRC7 remote controller, 11.1V battery. The cables used are Nora Plus power module, RC7 receiver power cable, RC7S dot bus cable, RC7 telemetry cable. JST to XT60 adapter. How to wire. The S dot bus port uses a GH1.25 2 pin connector, while the RC port on the flight controller uses a 2.54 mm 3 pin DuPont connector. Connect the S dot bus port of the RC7 receiver to the RC port of the Nora Plus flight controller. The UART1 port uses a GH1.25 3-pin connector, and the Telum1 port on the flight controller is a 6-pin connector. Connect the UART1 port of the RC7 receiver to the Telum1 port of the Nora Plus flight controller. Connect the Power C port on the Nora Plus flight controller to the power module. One end of the power module is connected to the battery and the other end to the adapter. Finally, power the RC7 receiver. The power cable of the RC7 receiver uses an XT30 connector on one end and a JST2.54 connector on the other. How to display. Turn on the remote controller and enter QGC. Click on application settings. Go to the communication links page and click add. Name the link freely. Set type to UDP. Port to zero.
and address to 192.168.144.20.19856 Click Add Address Then click OK Return to the Communication Links page Click the link we just set up and click Connect In the flight interface, you will see that the flight controller is connected to the ground station. Click Settings, go to the radio page and move the joysticks to confirm that the S. bus is also connected. Open UniGS. Click the top right corner to enter the Remote Controller Settings page. Click Data Connection. Set Data Link 1 to UDP, BOD Rate 1 to 57600. Then click the Flight Controller Interface. Set Connection Type to UDPCI. And address to 192.168.144.20.19856. Once connected, you can view and configure flight controller data. Return to the main screen, where the black disk in the center shows the real-time status of the flight controller. The three position switch on the top left of the remote controller can switch the flight mode. The upper left corner of the screen also supports one-click takeoff and one-click landing. This concludes the CUAV Nora Plus Flight Controller and CRC7 Remote Controller Ground Station Connection Tutorial. As a high-performance autopilot launched by CUAV, the Nora Plus features strong computing capabilities and excellent sensor configurations making it highly suitable for scientific research, advanced unmanned system development and commercial-grade integration. The CRC-7 as a new generation handheld ground station integrates remote control, video transmission and ground control functionalities. It is compatible with various unmanned devices and brings great convenience and reliability to operations. Thank you for watching and supporting us. If you have any questions about the video content or would like us to elaborate on any part in future videos, feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to follow the World Drone Market channel. See you in the next video.